Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from Laid Laws Harley Davidson. So I wanna go over a topic that I get asked a lot of questions about and that is the heel toe shifter. If you're new to the motorcycle, the cruising, touring motorcycle world, you may not have ever seen a heel shifter which is commonly found on touring bikes equipped with floorboards. Uh, a lot of times if you have a bike that just has a peg, maybe you're a guy that comes from the sport bike world or the dirt bike world, a lot of those motorcycles just have a single peg and so you just have a toe shifter where you press down to shift down or you tuck your toe up underneath the peg and pull up to shift up. Basically the toe heel shifter, when people first look at it, if you're not used to it, you, you may be a little bit intimidated by like, how does this work? It's actually very, very simple. Uh, if you picture my arm as the toe shift and the heel shift, basically instead of tucking your foot underneath the heel shifter and shifting up like this, you're basically pressing down with your foot on the rear and it does the same action with the front lever and it, it basically upshifts with your your heel pressing down as opposed to having to tuck your toe up underneath it. So you're basically always pressing down with your foot, you press down on the front shifter to downshift and you're pressing down on the rear shift peg to shift up. So you're, you're, you're never having to go underneath and pull up. So let's talk a little bit about the pros and the cons of it. I feel like the heel, the heel shifter is there, kind of one more thing to give a touring motorcycle a little bit more comfort and a less fatiguing riding experience. So if you talk to a kinesiologist, someone who's really good at muscles and everything, they'll tell you that lifting up with your toe like that, the, the muscle you have on the front of your leg is not nearly as strong mechanically as it is to just press down with your, with your heel. I don't know anybody that goes to the gym and does toe raises to, to work that muscle. So it's just kind of a weak muscle in, in the human body. Uh, and so if you're doing a long ride, you're having to shift a lot over, you know, seven, eight, nine hours of riding in one day using the heel shift is, is really good. And so I would say the pros of this is it's less fatiguing. Another pro that I would say is instead of having to tuck, like maybe you have a bulky boot on, sometimes there's not a whole lot of room to tuck your boot underneath the front shift peg to shift up. And so it's a lot easier with a bulky boot to push down on the rear heel shifter than it is to basically push your, your toe up. So. It's a lot more friendly with bulky riding footwear. It's less fatiguing because you have a little bit more of a mechanical advantage and it's less fatiguing on the rider. Uh, that and also, you know, this is kind of getting nitpicky, but I know there's a lot of guys that have pretty shoes or pretty boots that don't want to get that black mark on the tip of their boots. And so without having to use your toe to upshift, you don't have to get that that little black mark on the front of your boot. Again, most guys that ride don't really care about getting their shoes dirty. Some people, I will say the cons, some people say it's a little bit too cumbersome. They don't like the feeling of having something behind their foot to either block their ability to shift their foot around on the floorboard. Some people just, they don't want to accidentally hit that rear shift peg and accidentally upshift the motorcycle. I'm here to tell you though that once you get used to it, that's really not a really big concern. I personally have never accidentally hit that rear shift peg and upshifted before. Um, but some people do like to, to have that room on the floorboard to move their foot around freely. I feel like once you get used to it, it's not a big deal once again. I personally like the heel shifter on my bike. As many of you who watch my videos know that I'm, I primarily ride the touring bikes. I, I much prefer the heel shifter. Once you get used to it, it's really, really nice. But you don't need it. A lot of guys that come in here and buy a touring bike just want to ride bikes the way they've always ridden them and just use the the front shifter the toe shifter for upshifting and down shifting so that can be done just as easily you don't have to worry about it so up until this model your harley davidson has always shipped all the touring bikes with a heel shift a heel toe shifter on the bike uh, and then this year they got rid of the heel shifter uh, i did a video on that a little while ago i'll link up in the in the upper corner of this video as well if you want to see that but what I feel like it was the reason behind that is because there was a lot of heel shifters that went to a waste. A lot of guys would buy a touring bike and take the heel shifter off because they didn't use it. They didn't like it for whatever reason. So they, they would take it off and there was a lot of waste that went on. And so it's not hard to put the heel shifter on if you're a guy like myself that likes the heel shifter. Here at Laid Lots Harley Davidson, if you want it, we just throw it on there for free if you buy a touring bike, not a big deal. Another thing I will say to you is I feel like there's a lot it's a lot less likely to do a miss shift with the heel shifter. What that is basically is if you're, if you're going through the gears real fast, you're revving it out and you go to tuck your toe up underneath the front toe shifter, 
Sometimes you might think you shifted, but you really didn't get the full engagement of, of the gear shift. And then you let the clutch out and then rev it and you don't have that higher gear. And so the bike will like, Whoa, like rev up really high, uh, which is kind of embarrassing. And if you're, you know, going up a hill or something like that, then it can kind of kill your rhythm a little bit. And so by shifting with your heel, by clicking down, uh, it's, it's a lot, you have a lot more confidence in engaging that taller gear. And so for that reason, I do like it a little bit better. Uh, one thing that I can say too, is maybe a, a, another one of the cons is sometimes people mentally get confused. I've, I've heard people like say, oh, I, I needed to shift up and I got confused in the moment. And instead of up shifting, I downshifted, which can be tough because if you downshift when you're actually trying to go up a gear, but you go down a gear, you know, you'll rev out your engine. If you let the clutch out too quickly, you might actually lock the wheels and you may skid a little bit. That is unless you have the new RDRS with the torque drag slip control, but that's a completely different story. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys prefer the heel shifter, the toe heel shifter, or do you prefer just the toe shifter? And if you have any other questions around this topic, let me know. Thanks guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.